Welcome to Myth Talks. Today we're going to talk about failure and progression. I'm sure you're familiar with the sayings, game over, you died, or, you know, something very similar to that. We see this in a lot of different video games, but aren't video games supposed to be for fun? If they are supposed to be enjoyable, and failures not exactly enjoyable, then it begs the question, what's the point? Before we begin, here's why I wanted to talk about this subject. I've been playing a lot of different games recently, and having started playing Valheim just this past week, I was thinking about how they handled the death loop. When you die in Valheim, your character drops a tombstone with your name on it, and the tombstone holds all of the items that you had. So when you come back to life later, you come back without any of your items or anything you had, either spawning in your bed or in the center of the world. This is much different than other survival games which I've played, like Minecraft or Terraria. In Minecraft, when you die, all of your stuff is dropped on the floor, and you have about five minutes to go and get it before it all disappears. Whereas in Terraria, you keep your items whenever you die, except you lose your gold. At first, this difference doesn't seem too significant, but I was intrigued by how the game punishes you and at the same time rewards you. In games, the com most common way to learn how to overcome a challenge or to learn an aspect of the game is through either punishments or rewards. Ironically, for a survival game, Dying is an integral part of Valheim. This influences the way they handle the death loop. In Valheim, when you die, your stuff stays in the gravestone and can be picked up later. It will never disappear, but you do have to work to retrieve it, unlike Terraria. Because of this, you are able to learn from the death, and it helps you progress. Very similar to Minecraft. However, in Minecraft, if one does lose their items, then the game punishes them in a different way than Valheim or Terraria would. I don't believe this makes one game better than the other, only that they have different lessons they're trying to teach you. And of course, survival games aren't the only type of games out there. There are plenty of other genres of games, all of which have a game over mechanism. A well-known example of this is Dark Souls a game where dying is about half of the gameplay. In Dark Souls, players die over and over again, often fighting the same boss, or even the same enemy, if not a boss. So if the game so heavily punishes them, then what is the draw to keep playing? I believe the principle here is the greater the sacrifice, the greater the reward. The more challenging the challenge, the more rewarding the reward. It is very similar in life. In this way, the game rewards us by first punishing us. In that case, what do we call the greatest reward that a game can give us? We all face challenges. Some challenges are harder than others, but it is satisfying to overcome those challenges. In video games, we experience this a lot. However, the opposite can be often demoralizing. We don't usually enjoy failure. Of course, this is true in life and in games. Anyone who knows anything about video games is familiar with the term game over. Why is it that when we fail in games, we are attracted to try again so much? It is common in games to think, if I only had that one weapon, or if I had just pressed the button fast enough. We believe that if we try again, we can do better this next time. It is easy in life to think if we only had more money, or if we had only done this thing before, that we could be successful. But I think this is the wrong focus. We have to understand that we can improve. 
that we are able to do better next time, not because of those things, but because we are able to learn. Just like in video games, life has a funny way of teaching us the things we need to learn to overcome our challenges. Ironically, failure is often the best way to learn how to overcome our challenges. When we take failure and we learn from it, that's when we succeed. This has been Myth Talks.